Well, good morning, church. And this morning, we're going to be picking up right where we left off. Yesterday, we just did verse 7 in 1 John chapter 2. So we're going to be going from verse 8 to 11. Now, we're going to be pointing back a lot to things that Pastor Brandon mentioned last week in referring to light and darkness. And, and what that means is walking in the light is referring to trying to be obedient to God's word, trying to live in a way that would honor God. Walking in darkness is obviously the opposite, not trying to live how scripture would tell us. And so knowing that, here's where we come to in verse 8. It says, Yet I am writing you a new command, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. The one who says he is in the light but hates his brother or sister is in the darkness until now. The one who loves his brother or sister remains in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But the one who hates his brother or sister is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and doesn't know where he's going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Now that first verse is basically just making it clear that the truth is becoming more and more obvious. It's, we're being enlightened because the light is shining through on the issue. And then he goes and talks about when someone hates his brother or sister or loves them. Now we've been talking about loving your neighbor and obviously that's how Christians are called to live. And when he goes to brother and sister, he's not talking biological family here necessarily. He's talking about brothers and sisters in Christ, other believers. And the idea that if you hate a fellow Christian, you're walking in darkness. And, and think about it this way. How on earth are we supposed to truly love those around us in life when we can't even love someone that we should agree with a lot of where they're at just because they're a follower of Jesus Christ too. They have had that same debt we have paid we both recognize God's love. How hard is it going to be for you to love someone else that doesn't agree with that if you can't love someone who agrees with you on a lot? Now, obviously, I know there's a lot of small differences different Christians have on the smaller theological things, and that's fine. That doesn't mean we can't love each other. We need to be coming alongside each other as brothers and sisters in Christ and in showing God's love to each other because talk about a great witness for someone on the outside as well, seeing how the Christian family is there for each other and loves each other. And not only that, but then we are called to love the rest of the world as well. But I think the loving relationship between Christians is such an important witness that we need to make sure we're being loving to each other. And so I, we're gonna continue on in 1 John, but make sure that we are loving those in our church family.